in to all things LA real estate. My name is PK Noel and I am running point on this channel. This is your Glassell Park July real estate update. We're going to give you everything you need to know about what's currently going on in Glassell Park. Glassell Park sits up on the east side, kind of where Eagle Rock Boulevard and San Fernando Road meet. So if you've been looking on the east side and been kind of priced out at Silver Lake, Highland Park, Atwater, Glassell Park might have some opportunities for some homes. We're going to get into it. We're going to go over the current month statistics. We're going to do some month over month, some year over year. And at the end of the video, I'm going to provide you with a few homes that have caught my eye to maybe find some value for you in the market. Let's ride. So currently out in Glasso Park, there's actually some opportunity if you look at it in comparison to other east side neighborhoods. There are some homes available right now. We're currently sitting at 10 homes available for sale. The minimum entry price right now is 930K. The maximum is 2.399999, so a little under 2.4 million. The average home price is 1.360499, and these homes have been sitting on the market an average of 46 days on market. So about a month and a half, that's pretty typical for the east side. We may start to see some of these homes start to get a little more eager as they get into the two month mark. So we could be looking out for some price drops in the area. Very important to keep your eye on if you're gonna get out there with interest rates at 7.38 record high this week and the anticipation that Jerome Powell is going to raise rates. Even though we just got a good inflation report bringing it down to 3%, we should expect another price hike as we move forward. If we compare that back to July of 2022, we had 11 homes sell at 114% clip. So what that tells us is in 2022, things are pretty healthy in Glassell Park. You know, if we see anything from 10 to 15 to 20% over the list price, that's very healthy for a market on the east side. If you're somebody that's currently looking though, the most important statistics are what happened last month. So let's do that now. All right, so last month in Glassell Park, things have been going pretty well in Glassell Park. It's a pretty consistent area on the east side. I think it's a good spot if you're looking for a home that's going to appreciate, which is something that's pretty much mandatory if you're gonna get out and buy at a seven plus interest rate. So nine homes sold at 110% clip, meaning 10% over list price. That is very good for 2023. Most neighborhoods on the east side are seeing prices closer to the list price so 10% over showed that these people that were buying homes in Glasso Park were seeing value and willing to bid over on the price. Now the minimum was 950K. That home sold for 101,000 over list. So what that tells us, if you're looking on the lower end of Glasso Park, there's a lot of interest. There's multiple bids on this home and it sold a great amount over the list price. The top end, 1.68 million. That brought our average for the month to just over 1.25 to 1.273333. Average days on market is 32. That is pretty typical. If you ever look at the average days on market, it's usually always right around that month mark. So 32 is right on par with that. We wanna get into some year over year stats. So we look back to June of 2022, where Glassell Park saw 10 homes sell at an incredible 137% clip. 37% over list price. There was a couple outliers there, but that is a crazy number. Great aspect for homeowners. If I have a home in Glassell Park, I am certainly getting with an agent now and prepping because when interest rates start to drop, there's gonna be a big push of buyers and you might wanna get on board with that. If we look at that year over year, it is an 11% decline year over year, but that's not bad. We're looking at 10 and nine, so the numbers are right there for each other. We're seeing much greater depreciation, much greater decreases year over year in a lot of the other neighborhoods on the east side. So not bad when you look at Glassell Park. And I think there's some real opportunity there if you're somebody who's adamant about coming out of the east side and buying a home right now. Let me go into th homes that have caught my eye so I can give you a couple of homes that I think might have some value if you're looking. All right, homes that have caught my eye. I'm gonna break down the entry level position, what it takes to get into the neighborhood. I'm gonna give you my favorite house when it comes to value in the neighborhood. And then we'll talk about the top dog so you can see what the top level is in the neighborhood. So we'll start off with the entry level. It's 3015 Kemper Court. It's a two bedroom, one bath, 724 square feet. They got it listed for 930,000. I think there's some opportunity here. The lot's 4874, so pretty decent lot size, kind of what I'm looking for. 
but the average per square foot is 1284 and that is extremely high. I want that number for most of my clients to be in the five to $700 range. So being at 1284 is a pretty high, extremely high for a 724 square unit home. So I think if you can keep your eye on this one, we might see some price drops. They might not get the offers that they're looking for because that's one of the highest marks I've seen at the homes that I've looked at on the east side. Jumping over to my favorite home, it's 2649 Saxon Drive. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 1,268 square feet. It's listed for 1.125 million. Big attraction here is we just saw a $25,000 price drop on this home. That tells us these sellers are ready to move off it. So you might be able to come in, put in an offer at or below that list price and get into this home. It's been sitting for 123 days. So it's pushing six months out on the market. So of course there's some desperation on the buyer side. It's got a little bit of an old school feel. Of course, I love the hot tub in the back. So I think there's some value here. And one of the most important aspects, if you're gonna go out and buy a home at this exact moment, at such a high interest rate, you have to find a home that has potential to appreciate. And I think there's value in this one. Jump into the top dog in the neighborhood. It's 3839 Sunbeam Drive, three bedrooms, four baths, 2,868 square feet, listed for 2399 $936 per square foot. So a little bit higher than I want, but not too bad. Has a pool, hot tub, a nice little bar inside. Here's the thing you gotta understand about Glasgow Park is we've only had two homes sell above 2 million this year. One for 2.15, one for 2.25. The one that sold for 2.25 was actually listed for 2.495. So it sold over $200,000 less than the list price. So when I look at this home, currently marked at 2.399, that will be the highest sale in Glasgow Park this year. So if I'm looking on that high end, I'm looking on the upper end in the $2 million mark to get into this neighborhood, you might have an opportunity to come in and put it in an offer below the list price, bring that average down to, you know, like I said, I want that number at 700 per square foot. So you might be able to obtain that house as soon as these buyers start to realize they're not getting the offers that they want, yet to see. Hope you enjoyed the video. We do this every single month for all the neighborhoods on the east side, Silver Lake, Echo Park, Mount Washington, Atwater Village, Eagle Rock, Lincoln Heights, El Sereno, the works. We also do a ton of other great content that's valuable to homeowners. We got school reports, attractions, restaurants. We also do some celebrity houses and some other fun stuff. So like and subscribe to the channel if you are so inclined. I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day. Be kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm.